Welcome. Thank you for taking the time to review this presentation and learn more about what we're working on. I'm Gene Burst with the Metro Planning Department. Three of us at the Planning Department are working on this study, myself along with Anita McKay and Jared Eastless. This study is part of our long range planning program. We have another presentation on this web page that provides an overview of our long range planning program and discusses the difference between policy and zoning. The Murfreesboro Pike Bell Road study is looking to the future at various times. What short term actions can we take to increase area aesthetics? Are there infrastructure projects we can recommend? Implementing the vision addresses both the character of the roadways and adjacent land uses. Achieving the entire vision is ongoing for the long term. Planners are working to build on the community's vision to include the things that are important to you. Important characteristics might include stable, engaged neighborhoods, with a blend of incomes and household types, corridors that are accessible to all types of people that use it, including pedestrians, cyclists, transit riders, and cars, and how should new development look? The study area focuses on the center around the Murfreesboro Pike Bell Road intersection stretching south to Hamilton Church Road. The area is 261 acres with a variety of land uses. Our project timeline is approximately three months. In December of 2020, the team began analysis and research of the area, along with building our community engagement strategy. We're now ready to survey area stakeholders, determine ideas, and begin developing strategies and priorities. Whether that might be transit, sidewalks, new land uses, and beautification, all of that feeds into alternative solutions that we will ask you to respond to and prioritize. A draft study will be written and released for public comment, and then it will go to the Metro Planning Commission for their consideration. We're just at the beginning of this process, but you might be curious about what the draft plan might include. Depending on your ideas and priorities, the plan may recommend changes to existing land use policy and zoning. It could recommend infrastructure projects. It could include a plan for greenways and open space or it could update the design of the roadway for Murfreesboro Pike or Bell Road. These are just a few examples. The plan sits in the countywide plan called Nashville Next. Nashville Next is our general plan adopted in 2015, which guides growth and preservation throughout the county. It was developed with a huge public outreach program involving over 18,000 participants. During that process, participants stated overwhelmingly that growth should be placed in our existing centers and along our major corridors and pikes, including Murfreesboro Pike and Bell Road. Within centers and corridor areas, ideally you find a mix of land uses, providing various needs, a mix of housing types, and a mix of modes of travel with streets and buildings that are walkable with good access to transit. Murfreesboro Pike was originally the main road between Murfreesboro and Nashville before the construction of the interstate. Today, it continues its role as a major corridor. The built environment and land uses you see today still reflect the time of its initial development during the early automobile age with motor courts and mid-century strip malls, as well as later 20th century developments, fast food and retail services. As we all know, in recent years, Nashville has experienced a lot of growth and change. 
Murfreesboro Pike is experiencing an increased interest in development. We want to know what that development should be, what the corridor should look like, how the center should function, and how the center connects with surrounding neighborhoods. The study area contains portions of three council districts. Most of the study area is in District 32 and District 29. A small portion of the study area is in District 33, and the area is adjacent to District 28. It's always a good idea to review previous years. On the left, you see an historic aerial view of the area in 2000. One of the first things we do at the beginning of studies is undertake an inventory and detailed analysis of the area. We review baseline data on existing conditions, including demographic information, natural features like creeks and slopes, the current built environment, existing infrastructure, recent development activity, and the existing land use policy and zoning. This information shown in a series of maps is available on the web page. The picture on the right shows the area more recently in 2019, more filled in and more residential in the surrounding area. What do you want this area to look like in 2040? That brings us to topics for you to be thinking about. Land uses. What uses are missing? Shops, services, housing, jobs? Where should they go? Are there special uses that should be preserved? If you want to add land uses, what should that look like and how do they impact the surrounding neighborhoods? How does the center transition to surrounding neighborhoods? How might Murfreesboro Pike and Bell Road become more walkable and bikeable? Should they? What key connections are missing? What transit improvements are needed? And what trade-offs are you willing to make for any of these improvements? Do you want to see more green space? Where and what type? Parks, trails, greenways, ball fields? What about areas of landscaping and planting? Are there significant areas of stormwater or flooding issues? That's a lot to think about. During the pandemic, we won't be holding in-person meetings, but we will be hosting opportunities to comment with virtual meetings, focus groups, and online surveys. Keep checking this webpage for upcoming events and information. You can also email or call team members. Please remember to look at another presentation on this webpage that provides an overview of our work and discusses the difference between policy and zoning. Thank you for your time.